Uh, before we get started here, just because we're in Mile High City, how about the Mavs? Am I right? Any hockey fans? Oh, yeah! All right, um, my name is Ali Lone. Like I said, I'm from Greeley West High School in Greeley, Colorado. I'm very proud to be rep representing them right here. And today, I'm very honored and excited to be sharing my story with you. And I hope you can get something out of it, just as I have. Look at me. I'm a brown, long-haired, cello-playing Muslim whose family comes from Kashmir, the country that sits in the lap of the Himalayas. These are not identities that intersect every day. Now imagine that as a boy in 2014, the same boy had to settle in Greeley, Colorado, just 10 years of age. As a child of immigrants who had first moved from Kashmir to California, and then again to Greeley to secure a better future for our family, this was not an easy task. Like most 10-year-olds, I was constantly thinking about my intersectionalities, like how most 10-year-olds think about that all the time. In my first few months of high school, almost four years ago now, I was speaking with my father on the phone in Urdu, a language that we speak in South Asia. I still remember my attention being grabbed by a boy who stopped and asked me, what language is that? Are you gonna bomb the school? I didn't react to it at the time, but the incident stuck with me. It worried my parents, and my mother wondered if I could ever make friends. But for me, my identity is a source of spiritual and intellectual strength. It's not one that gets burdened by erroneous stereotypes. This strength comes in spite of numerous struggles that my people face in Kashmir, fighting against a military occupation that seeks to eliminate their national identity. As I grew into my own throughout high school, I simultaneously saw the struggles that my family was going through back home. Knowing this influenced my perspective and made me grateful for the life I was living in America and gave me the desire to succeed against all odds. This desire to success eventually manifested itself through Avin. And the man I have to thank for that is a man who I can almost call my second father, Mr. David Falter. <laughs> Mr. Falter is a man who got me into Avin, got me to do the interview, and he's been with me every step of the way for these past four years, through every approaching deadline, through every assignment, and through every struggle, and through the pandemic, all of that. And he's been there for me this whole time. Today, I'm an avid scholar. I love the cello. I love mathematics. I love sports. I run cross country, and I'm a big Nuggets fan. <laughs> In my avid class, I found peers and friends who enjoy music, science, and sports the same way that I do. Contrary to the fears of my parents, I found people with an appetite for knowledge and a respect for diversity. I've been able to carry all of my passions while succeeding academically because of the work ethic that Avid has honed in me. I am always encouraged to work with compassion, follow the rules, respect deadlines, and most importantly, follow my own heart. My journey from being a ghost freshman to a senior scholar has been full of new learning opportunities. In addition to my learning, this past semester, I also received the opportunity to work as an avid tutor, where I had the ability to mentor new freshmen who are just like I was once. My high school experience in avid hasn't just been a class or a program for me, but it's been a community based on both knowledge and compassion. Avid especially has taught me excellence over competition, consistency over perfection. Each day that I'm in my Avid class, I'm challenged to become a better learner, not one who is daunted by, lim by perceived limitations of identity. And when I'm asked to imagine what's possible, I can only offer my own example. In the fall, I'm looking forward to attending the University of California at Berkeley
and I'm simultaneously excited to be attending as a Daniels Fund Scholar. I have my AVID class and Mr. Falter to thank for continually keeping me accountable and on track with my deadlines and my work. And as I transition into this next period of my life, I'm reminded of the same boy who often struggled with that perceived limitation of identity in an unfamiliar environment. And when I think of those struggles and the same struggles that I and you have faced over these past three years, I really come to the realization that we weren't supposed to be here. Through all of those struggles, through all the pandemic, through all of that, we weren't supposed to be here, but we were here anyways, all of us. And, I'm in, and as I finish up the speech, I'm grateful for my AVID family has done for me. Thank you.